What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's episode features more Bundesliga games as we are unbeaten so far. 100% record in Germany with our Schalke side. I can't remember how many episodes it is now. Four? Five? No, four I think. So, we're going to have two post-com games. First up, Hertha Berlin. Then, we jump into the live portion where we take on AC Milan in the Champions League. Followed by Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. So, sit back. Relax and enjoy. So very quickly then, we will showcase the highlights of the two games we played. And then we will be into the thick of things later on. This game against Hertha Berlin at Veltins Arena started off with them firing on all cylinders to begin with. What a volley that was. It really could have been 1-0 to the away side and it would have been some goal as well. But they started off good. Then we had our first chance. Werner down the right-hand side, cuts it back, puts the cross in. And there was Saigankov on the volley to put it in the top corner. Really nicely worked from us as well. The cross in from Werner leads the line for us. But when we need him to, he's got the pace to go down the wings and try and put that cross in as Elmer Barrett goes in. Just to congratulate his cam as well and say, well done, mate. And of course, he was the main man of last episode. So if you haven't already seen that, go back and check it out. If you don't know who El Mubarak is, get to know. The new Egyptian king, we call him. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know, get to know. Mistake made after that, though, four minutes later, when they passed the ball straight to Callum hudson Adoy, who laid it through for the assist maker in Timo Werner for the first one. And he latched onto the ball to make it 2-0 with his left foot firing into the bottom corner. hudson Adoy running over to get involved in the celebrations here as well. You can see there's a real team cohesion. There's a real team unit here. McKenney, captain in the side as well. One of the remaining Schalke players that uh, were here when we joined them. I feel it's only right to keep him as captain. You know, we've got, to, we've got to still allow that to happen. And he is sort of captain material as well, I guess you could say. But he was better for us in the second half. Again, Werner involved again, finishing for his brace in this one. Richarlison's pass through converted. And it was Schalke 3, Hertha Berlin 0. Had they have scored that volley to kickstart the game off, it might have been a totally different story. But they didn't convert it. They put it against the post. And when you waste chances, you have to be uh, you have to be careful not to get conceded on. A really nice finish from Werner. I, lo I love the little driven shots into the bottom corners. And Werner does them so effectively. Look at this one, guys. Again, quality from Timo Werner. That's his fifth goal. Or fourth goal? Fifth? Fourth? Fourth or fifth goal, anyway, of the season so far. And we're only sort of five, six games in. So... Unbelievable start to life in the Bundesliga, or back in the Bundesliga, we should say, for the German. And match facts wise you can see, it was pretty close. Just the two shots on target for us. Werner's counting as an off-target shot because it hit the woodwork. But after that game, we had Werder Bremen. And uh, this one, let me just say this, was not as good. Um, we did not perform as well as we did in game one for this one here, away from home. Now, I'm going to put that down to just the simple fact that I feel... We kind of came into this and we were wasting opportunities. I mean, this one right here in the second half from hudson Adoy, Trent Alexander-Arnold with a cross in. Keep it down. You've just got to keep that down. And we were struggling to really create a really good chance until Elmer Barrack laid one on a plate for Weston McKenney to fire home in the 62nd minute. Great finish from McKenney, but again, it comes from world-class work down the right-hand side from Elmer Barrack, who is up, by the way, for a player of the month, for the month that you are currently watching. And I'm going to leave a little poll. I mentioned this in the live part of the episode later on. For you guys to vote on for your player of the month, who do you think it should be? I will put in the shortlisted players up in the poll and you guys can decide. But I've got a feeling I know who you guys are going to think that will be. He's definitely in there. Alongside that, there's Werner, I believe, McKenny, I believe, and Trent Alexander-Arnold. So they are the people who have been shortlisted for the player of the month for the Bundesliga. Mistakes made towards the back end of the game, but luckily we held out and eventually would go on to secure the 1-0 victory. So not as convincing against Werder, but still the three points as well. And our 100% record continues, guys. That's it for the post-com section. Let's jump into live where we face AC Milan and Bayer Leverkusen. Enjoy the rest of today's episode, guys. Catch you in a second. Game week two of the Champions League at the Veltins Arena. We take on AC Milan, the only side to have won their opening game as well as we kickstart this Champions League season off. We're going to jump straight into things, get ourselves in it and uh, waste no time at all. The first two games went really well. The second one, though, um, was only the slender victory, which we sometimes keep finding. We're having these lucky, scrappy 1-0 wins where necessarily we're not the best side on the day, but we just about squeeze through. Mina came to me as well and said he's a disappointed in the lack of matches that he's getting. So he starts and leads the line today in place of Timo Werner. The rest of the squad looks very good indeed. Let's jump into this game and see if we can pick up another three points in the Champions League. 
And off we go then. Matt, thank you as well for all the support on the last sort of four-ish episodes of since we've moved to Schalke. Well, this is the fourth one, I believe. Um, but yeah, Matt, thank you for all that support. Keep it going, guys. It is great to see us. Noah Gordon immediately down the right-hand side trying to find a cross early on. But um, I think this is going to be probably one of the big tests in the Champions League for us. Milan are not a bad side. Hang on a second here. We're second to every ball at the moment. As Mandragara against his former club, Weston McKenney. What a block that is. Still Mandragara, though, looking through. And we just about deal with it. What a block from Weston McKenney against Mandragara. One in a goal against the former club that he played for before we let him go for 66 million. Noah Gordson now wrong side in Hendricks. As Hendricks gets back to put the block in and give us a corner ball. This game has just sprung into life now. And it all started through Mandragara and Weston McKenney on the edge of our own box. Why is Jimenez never in the box for a corner? He always seems to be back here. We've got Arana Lopez in there, though. Weston McKenney on the ball now. We'll again try and lay it through. I think he got quite in two minds about laying it to Saigankov or to um, or to Noah Gordon. I, I don't think he realised which one he wanted to actually play it to. And in, instead just gave the ball away. Cucurella. Charleston. Saigankov. Look at Gordon. Noah Gordon is through with a chance to hit the shot as well. Noah Gordon, good save, Donnarumma. It's not fully cleared though. Richarlison tries one and Donnarumma will save it again. Danny Kabaya smashing it out for half time. Just before the break, Schalke asking questions. And at the moment, Milan stand firm, courtesy of their number one, Donnarumma. Not wearing the number one though, because obviously he wears a different shirt number. But he is definitely their number one. At this stage as well in the game, he definitely will be. Noah Gorson, poor first half from him. He's going to make way at halftime. Try and change the dynamic of this one. And I'm not sure. I'm going to bring on Werner. Move Saigankov out to the right. And then put Mina just in behind Timo Werner. I don't want to have to call upon anybody else like Elmer Barrett. Because I want him for the, uh, the Bundesliga to come. And I think for the most part, we need the experience in the Champions League. It's all well and good Elmer Barrett, you know, playing unbelievably well in the Bundesliga. But that's club football. That's, you know... League football, he can make mistakes at the highest stage in the game. At a young age, it's very difficult to ask him to come here and perform. I'm sure he's capable of doing that as Santimina now looks for the substitute. Werner, who is in. Timo Werner for 1-0 Schalke. And he's not going to miss those. Schalke find the breakthrough. Milan, who had a decent first half until the last few minutes of it, are now behind by a goal to nil at the Veltins Arena. Timo Werner off the bench for a matter of four minutes before he converted his first chance. And it's Santimino with a pass through. It's just the pace that Werner's got. We can use these uh, types of passes to get him in behind. Donnarumma comes out and Werner knew where he was putting the ball. 1-0. McKenney from Richarlison. Look at the run being made by Mina as well. McKenney's going to find him. And Mina will look to finish it. Donnarumma saves it again. Genuinely, this guy has been a lifeline for AC Milan today. Mina gets what he can on the strike. And it goes towards that near post. Donnarumma makes himself incredibly big, though, to stop it going in the back of the net. And we could have had a second there. Unfortunate, though, it hasn't, go hasn't quite worked. But we are still asking questions as Richarlison again brings this ball down. We'll find Danilo. Danilo through towards Werner. Never hit the pass actually to his feet, though. Poor ball in the end. It's put in. And now it's Marino to head clear. What a header that is as well from him. Timo Werner brings the ball down under control. That is actually a sensational header from Marino. Not even going to lie. Werner in control. Trying to look through towards Mina. And Mina's wrong sided. Jerry Mina. Mina's in. Mina gets back though to make the block or to make the tackle on Mina. There's a load of Minas happening. And one of them beat the other one. Well, that's a great turn. Ball again whipped in. Yedvai trying to go over. Saigankov picks up. Three minutes left of normal time here. Saigankov, don't lose it there. Arana Lopez will play to Marino. Marino will find Danilo. There's a lot of Elos and Enos going on, isn't there? There's Werner. Trying to find Mina, unable to do it. But that is going to be the end of the game, guys. AC Milan nil, Schalke won at the Veltins Arena. Very slender win, but we did have chances. And Donnarumma certainly earned his paycheck there. But I can't believe Mina caught up to Mina. You can see it was not a big chance game. Very few. Six wins from six in the Bundesliga as we go on to face up against Bayer Leverkusen at the Veltins Arena. Another home game for us. And we're back to the side that faced off in the other two games. Hudson Odoi on the left. El Mubarak on the right. Two very young, good, tricky wingers. And obviously Werner up front, the top scorer at the moment in the Bundesliga. With five goals and six appearances to his name. Looking to make it six today. We'll see if that's going to work. And what side Leverkusen put out in just a few moments. Kickoff is imminent. And we are off as well. I've just realised again with the shadows. There was a comment saying, does it annoy anyone else in the last one of the last episodes? And I've got to admit. 
it does kind of frustrate me a little bit, the shadow bit. I might start playing the home games at night if that's the case. As we saw in the Champions League, it was all right. It's just when you play in this one, it's very, very, very prominent as we should have been already in with a chance. Hudson Adoy on the back post, volleying it. It was Alexander Arnold with a cross, and Hudson Adoy completely slices his shot, sends it wide. Immediate chance. We should have done better. Cross whipped in. Trent Alexander Arnold back post doesn't really get too much on it. And it's a corner ball, Everkusen. Good pressure in the first sort of 10 minutes for them here. And it would be great if they could score it for them, but at the minute, they aren't able to do that. Thank God, honestly. The pressure they actually got there was a little bit worrying because we... Oh, what is that pass? Grimaldo. Should be a simple ball to feet that. Jimenez goes over though to, uh, to make sure we still have the ball. That's not a great pass again from Grimaldo. He saw, he saw McKenny short drastically there. Grimaldo sort it out very quickly, my man, because you are just making problems for us, which you don't need. We still haven't cleared our lines yet, and the shot comes in. Goal kick. Two misplaced passes from Grimaldo, and we could have been in really bad situations. Schalke struggling to really break down Leverkusen, but here is Werner. Werner to El Mubarak. A little bit of space for the Egyptian. On the right, dinks it in. Hudson Adoy back post. Oh, what is that header from Callum Hudson Adoy? Second time we found him with a cross towards the back post. First one he slices with a volley. The second one he headers back to El Mubarak. It's like it's a pass. TAA. Now Saigankov. Gets the opportunity to turn and find a pass, maybe. Marino. Free kick is given. Saigankov with a shot that just before the break. Hiradevsky has to palm out. And the first change, I'm thinking, at 45 minutes is definitely for Callum Hudson Adoy. Appalling first half from him, as we will find him now. Hudson Adoy, imagine if he scores. That'd be just so ridiculous. But the shot was straight at Hiradevsky, who saves. Elmer Barrett picks up the loose ball. Poor pass made in the end. Werner will do exactly the same, though, and Yere will win it back for Leverkusen. And that should now take us over. In fact, there's still a couple of minutes left of this first half. So uh, I've not really counted the clock very well here, have I? Ball sent out wide. There's still 50 or so seconds. TAA is not going to be able to defend that cross, but Jimenez will smash it out. And that should be half time. And there is the whistle. So at the break, 0-0. We've had chances. Hudson Adoy with the two best by far. No conversion yet for him. Noah Gordon Richarlison on. Hudson Adoy and Sai Gankov off. So it means Elmer Barak still keeps his spot out on that right wing. He's, he's been lively in the first half. He's had a couple of dribbles where he's beaten defenders and put good crosses in. If only Hudson Adoy had been able to convert. That's three tackles that we won the ball back and they somehow still had it. Werner now will pick up the ball. Look for Richarlison. He made the wrong. We couldn't beat back a Yoko though. Elmer Barak picks it up again. That's just like the third time he's done that where they misplaced the pass and he's actually got onto the loose ball. Richarlison taken out there, F. I'm not sure how much of the ball they actually won because he's on the floor. Nothing given though from the referee. Jimenez will have this loose ball as well. Noah Gordson does well initially, and then he's just got to send the ball through, and he can't even get it past that defender. Doesn't even beat the first man with the ball, and that's a shot coming in from Leverkusen. They've not done anything at all today, but you can just sense the frustration beginning to creep in for Schalke, especially myself as well, because we're just misplacing too many passes in certain scenarios, as Werner's going to find Richarlison, who's injured after the challenge, which the referee didn't even give anything for. Werner now towards Gordson. Noah Gordon will cut back on the right foot. Gordon with the effort. Oh, it's in somehow. It's deflected off the crossbar. And Noah Gordon will score. I'm not sure he'll get given the goal, though. I'm not sure if it'll go down as an own goal or not. The shot was on target, but it definitely took a big deflection on the way through. Schalke could take the lead, though. Werner's ball. Gordon cuts inside on the right foot. Basic defending. You can't allow it to happen. And there is a deflection off the defender, which takes it onto the crossbar. And then it drops in. So, like I said, the question is, will they be giving this to Gordon or will it go down as an own goal? Because the shot, technically speaking, was on target first. And it has gone down as Gordon's goal. But unfortunately, Richarlison can't continue. The injury he sustained in the tackle where the referee didn't even do anything for is going to force him off. Not good. Ref, I told you it was a foul. Elma Barrett's corner in. Sent towards the header. Gordon! What a header that was! And Han puts in the rebound from close range and it will be Schalke 2, Leverkusen 0. Just nice as well, the same celebration from Gordon and Han. Both of them celebrating exactly the same way, but it's, it's the corner in from Elmer Barak. It's the header from Gordon, which causes the issues. And then it's just bounced straight down in front of Han, who could not miss from there. 
It's probably one of the easier goals he's going to score, but he has to be in that position in the first place. Schalke 2, Leverkusen 0, and it's a young Korean player who's got the goal. Bright future ahead of him as well. Korea have got some really good talent coming through. Kang In Lee, playing now at Inter, of course, played for us last season. Han coming through. Some good talent there, and I'll be interested to see how they start doing on the world stage. Here is McKenney. Now Marino, last minute of the game for us. Marino carries it, going to lose out. As he got back, though, twice. What on earth just happened? Tried to kick it twice, and it just didn't work on either occasion. It doesn't matter, though, because we are going to pick up the victory here. Schalke well and truly beating this Leverkusen side by two goals to nil in the end. We did what we had to do. We came here, we performed, and we got the victory, and that is all she wrote for the game then. Goal for Han as well to add to that. But Elmer Barak with another good performance today. Great chances. And more importantly, I was, I was kind of a little bit sort of surprised with his defensive part of the game as well. If we look at tackles one, he didn't actually win one. But there's, there's a shame there's no um, interceptions thing. Because I'm, I'm sure he was up there with probably the highest in the game. Passes completed. He completed the most for us in our team. So that's really good. Dribbles completed. Completed the most again. Cross is completed. Well, he was the only one who really tried apart from Werner. Uh, sorry, apart from Alexander-Arnold. But yeah, overall, really good performance from the boys. No assist, no goal for Elmer Barak, but it is still an 8.2 match rating for them. I'm not sure who had the best performance, really. Passes completed. Havertz, Terrier, Yere. They actually had more passes, I think, than we did. So, yeah, not a bad game, that. But ultimately, we got the win today, and that was enough. Elmer Barak's form clearly recognises he is called up for international duty. I'm glad about that. He deserves it. And I can't wait to see him on that international stage. For the moment, there is also a Player of the Month vote going on, which I think will possibly go to, uh, to Elmer Barak. But we will see that in due course. For the most part, it is four Schalke players who are in there, though. So I think for, the mo for today, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to vote for your Player of the Month. So here is the shortlist, then. And I'm going to leave a little poll at the top right-hand side. Never mind, Elmer Barrett gets it anyway. But you can still vote who you think should have got Player of the Month. If you agree with that, then keep it as Elmer Barrett. Little poll, top right-hand side. You've got Werner in there, Alexander-Arnold, Elmer Barrett, and I believe Weston McKenney as well are the four choices on offer, all four from Schalke. Leave your vote top right-hand side for your Player of the Month. And uh, I think Elmer Barrett might just steal it. He's stolen it according to the pundits and according to the people who actually give the award away. But who is yours? Let me know with your vote at the top right-hand side. But that, my friends, is going to be the end for today's Career Bot episode. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated in terms of where we stand for the, uh, the league title then. We are into seven wins from seven, 21 points, seven points clear as well of Wolfsburg in second place. We are strolling ahead. Top scorer through Werner, five in seven so far for him as well. If you take a look at the month as well that you are voting for, which is, of course, this month right here. We beat Hanover 3-1, beat Dortmund 2-1 with uh, Elmer Barrett scoring the winner in that game. Beat Hertha 3-0, we beat uh, Bremen by a goal to nil, and we also beat Leverkusen by two goals to nil as well. So that is the, mo the month that you'll be voting for the player of the month in. Um, but yeah, leave your vote, top round side. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, like would be greatly appreciated. If you're around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. We upload every single day around 4pm UK time. If you never want to miss an upload, make sure you have notifications turned on alongside it too. And until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you all again, hopefully, tonight for another video. Catch you all then. Adios.